So during my talk today, I focused really on the essence of a clinical nurse specialist role. So I'm aware that not all countries have access to clinical nurse specialists. Um, it's fairly embedded in the UK health system, but many countries are without that. So I really focused on the key areas that clinical nurse specialists uh, contribute to the patient pathway uh, for patients with myeloma and AL amyloidosis. Um, I have talked quite a bit about um, expert clinical practice. So clinical nurse specialists tend to be uh, nurses that have been working in myeloma or hematology for a, a reasonable length of time. They're often highly educated, degree or even master's level, some to doctorate level, and they are often highly trained in terms of clinical examination. Um, so they often run nurse-led clinics. They have constant contact with patients through uh, being a key point of contact. So patients often will call with sides, you know, side effects of treatment, um, concerns or worries that have cropped up. Um, and we're often the people that can explain the information to them in an understandable format. I think the biggest thing for me is when patients leave a consultation, feeling that they understand everything that's been explained to them, they can then go away with that information, uh, talk to their family members, their loved ones, and make a decision about which avenue they're going to take with regards to treatment. So I also talked about education as, as one of the important things that clinical nurse specialists do. So we often teach our, our, our Julia nurses. We, um, of course, educate patients and their relatives. Um, but really the education side of things, I was focusing more on how we would inform uh, you know, uh, nurses who are treating patients on a day unit or nurses that are looking after patients on a ward often will act as a mentor and a resource for those nurses. And then I talked today about leadership and how we lead, uh, you know, again, nursing teams within the day unit and the wards and so on. Um, I also talked about holistic needs assessments and uh, they're a really important part of our role. So a holistic needs assessment really is a way of understanding what is happening for that patient at that time, thinking more about the psychosocial impact of, of diagnosis and treatment, thinking also about, um, you know, uh, practical aspects of care. So how patients are traveling to and from the hospital, uh, what's going on with socially for that patient, what's happening with work, what's happening with their family life. So looking at the patient as a whole and not just thinking about, you know, the diagnosis and the treatment that needs to happen. You know, the really important practical aspects of that for the patient. And then um, I, I spoke about what good care might look like for a, a myeloma and an AL amyloidosis patient. And I didn't feel I was the best person. I thought that patients would be far better at this than me. But what I tried to think about was what aspects of their care, their journey, do I contribute to? So I was thinking about, you know, prompt diagnosis, educating our community healthcare providers, making sure that, you know, we are doing what we can in terms of um, educating GPs and primary care nurses and urgent care centers and, uh, and collaborating with uh, departments like emergency departments, for example, raising awareness of myeloma. So prompt diagnosis is a key thing. And then after diagnosis, I was really thinking, uh, sorry, rather talking about um, managing quality of life. That's huge, really. For patients to have access to somebody quickly, to be able to ask questions, address concerns, you know, uh, just talk through their worries at that present time, I think is really valuable and can add a lot to improving someone's quality of life. Um, having information at the right time in the right format as well. And that's really where clinical nurse specialists sort of uh, stand out, I think, in terms of what, what they provide to patients. So collaboration with colleagues, so physiotherapists, um, psychotherapists, dietitians, they're just some of the allied health professionals that we need involved in patients' care to give them the best possible quality of life. Um, so yeah, effective collaboration is where, where we also come in. And we all know myeloma patients and our AL amyloidosis patients have other uh, specialties involved in their care, for example, renal or spinal, or could be lots of different uh, specialties. So again, being a contact so that patients don't feel that they're left between specialties and communication is not so good. You know, we're really there to try and improve that and keep the flow of communication really, really, really positive and good and, and, and prompt.